Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to show you how to create image-based masks in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. This is compatible also with previous versions of Premiere and quite possibly forthcoming versions if you're coming to this video sometime down the track. Anyway, what I'm going to teach you today is how to generate an image in Illustrator and Photoshop that can be used as a mask how to import it into Premiere, and then how to apply it onto your video clip as a mask. This is gonna open up incredible amounts of creative opportunities for you in terms of masking in Premiere. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it's done. Step one is to create your image masks. I'm going to use both Illustrator and Photoshop here to demonstrate the type of masks you can create. The first one will be in Illustrator. So let's go ahead and open up Adobe Illustrator. I'm using Illustrator CC from the Adobe Creative Cloud suite of software. And this is my go-to app for creating illustrations and complex masks. I'm working in a 1920 by 1080 format for my video. So I'm going to go to the film and video tab and select HDV 1080 and create. That's going to create a file size that is appropriate to import directly into your project. Now you don't have to use this particular template. You can use an A4 layout, anything you like, but this just makes it more convenient. So I'm going to create some simple shapes here. Let's have a look what we have. I'm going to use the polygon tool. And I'm going to use black as my shape. So to build up some complexity in the mask here, I'm going to replicate this polygon a few times. And that should just about do it. So the idea here is that anything that appears in the black area will demonstrate the video and anything in the clear area or the white will be masked. So let's go ahead and save that for the file. So I'm going to file, save as image mask one. I'm saving it as an Adobe Illustrator file format, but I could just as well save it as a PNG or any other image file if I prefer. Now I'm gonna go and open Photoshop and create a different type of mask. I'm gonna create a gradient mask for a more subtle effect. So again, I can go File, New, and go into my Film and Video tab and select HDV, 1080p and this time I'm going to create a new layer fill it with black then I'm going to apply a mask on that black layer and use my gradient tool here and I've now got a transparent gradient from left to right And this time I'm going to save it out as a PNG. Now that I've prepared my image masks in my photo editor and my illustration program, being Illustrator and Photoshop, if you're using any other software, the same thing applies. Just save them down into your working folder. It's now time to go and import it directly into Premiere. So I'll open up Premiere. I'll create a new sequence. And again, this is going to be a 1080p workspace. I'll call it test mask. And it's time to import those masks directly into Premiere. You can go File, Import, or you can just drag them into your project window. So I'm going to use the File, Import method. There they are, Image Mask 1 and Image Mask 2, Import. Okay, so to start the process, we're gonna drag our footage onto the timeline. So I'm gonna start with 
my V1 layer, which is the layer at the bottom, which in this case happens to be a still image, but it could just as well be a video track. I'm now gonna drag a clip of black and white video footage that I shot using the OMD on a recent review of the OMD EM10 Mark II camera. So let me drag that onto the timeline. Now I have a base layer track, a track over the top which I want to mask, and now I'm going to add my masks to the project. So I'll select my image mask one as my first mask for this demonstration. I can use the effects control on the left hand side to position that mask exactly where I want it to appear. So I'll just move it into the right spot there. I'll select that second layer, which is the layer of video that I want to apply the mask to. And I'll now go and apply a track map key. So I'll go into effects, type in the word track, and I'll drag the track map key directly onto the V2 layer, which contains the video that I wish to mask. Now, when you first do this, nothing will happen. You need to go into the track map key effects controls in the top left hand window, and you need to go and tell Premiere which layer you'll be using as your track map. So I'm going to select video layer number three, which is where I have placed my image mask. So now you can see that it has masked the footage at the top. And again, I can use the effects controls to move that mask wherever I want it to appear. I can make it bigger and start to manipulate it within Premiere to get the look that I want. So now we have a video uh, masked with a complex shape coming directly out of Illustrator and it's as simple as that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the shape that I created in Photoshop and use that as a mask. So I'll go back to my project window and I'll select image mask 2. I'm going to drag that onto V4 which is my fourth video layer. I'm going to hide layer 3 and uh, as you can see layer 4 is now blocking out the right hand side of my content. But I'm going to click on video layer 2 and I'm going to go to the track map key effect and I'm going to change my map from video 3 to video 4. Now it's using my gradient mask that I created in Photoshop as a subtle transitioning mask, applying a gradient from left to right. And again, I can go into my, to my effects and I can move over and uh, change uh, where that mask is applied. And the one last mask that I wanted to show you was using text from directly within Premiere to use text as a mask over your video. So to do that, you simply type a layer of text onto your timeline, make it really large so we can see the effect here. Now let's make it about that size. And again, I'll drag it out to fill the complete width of the timeline and go back to my video layer two. Now I'm going to select my V5 layer, which contains text that I created in Premiere Pro as my track map. And I've now got a text-based mask in Premiere. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit me up with a like and also subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. On this channel, as well as doing these type of tutorials, I'm also providing you with product and app reviews and all sorts of videos in relation to creative technology. So make sure you subscribe. Thanks again, see you in the next video, bye for now.